Kev's Joy Fun. Joy's Rule. Hey, buddy, how are you? I hope you are well. On this episode of Kev's Joy Fun, we're going to unbox some Ben 10 Omni Launch Battle Figures, buddy. I got all six of them. These things just came out as of this video. And we're going to unbox them. We're going to play with them. And then, buddy, stick around because after that, I have name surprises where I'm going to announce 10 lucky names, buddy. So you just might hear your first name during name surprises. Okay, let's see happen. More happen. Let's start unboxing some toys. Whoosh. Okay, buddy, for our first unboxing, we have the Ben 10, right? Omni Launch Battle Figures, right? This is so cool. Now, I'm going to be honest. I've had a buddy of mine named Aaron. Aaron, you know who you are, buddy, who's been begging me for months and months and months to start opening up Ben 10. I know nothing about Ben 10. I'm going to be honest with you guys, but I haven't had a chance to watch any videos or any cartoons, so uh, I need help. So let me know, buddy, in the comments, if you're a big Ben 10 fan like my buddy Aaron. Let me know in the comments below what episodes I should be watching, right? And I will get on that. Because I also have a, I have the entire new figure line I need to unbox, but I just but I need to know more. So I need your help. So let me know in the comments below what Ben 10 episodes I should be watching. Okay. So these things just came out. I was at a Target the other day, and these are brand new, buddy. Brand new off the truck, right? So exciting. So Ben 10 launch from Omnitrix to transform figures. Pretty cool. So is that what this thing is called? This is, I guess, this is what he Ben. Ben wears, right? This is what Ben wears, I guess. And then he sings and he transforms into each one of these guys. Right? So pretty cool. I guess this guy is called Diamond Head. Right? This guy is called Forearms. Right? And then this guy is called Wild Vine. Pretty sweet. Okay. And then again, they just launch from the Omnitrix to transform figures. Pretty cool. Okay, awesome. Okay, so the back. So here's the back. It says Ben 10. The Omnitrix has the power to transform Ben into his different alien heroes, each with their own special powers. He just dials in the alien he needs to get the job done. And once Ben activates the Omnitrix, it's hero time. All right. There he is. There's Big Ben. All right. Launch into battle with your favorite aliens. Okay. So basically, you, you load the disc and then launch. Press button to launch disc from the Omnitrix. Okay. Transform, disc transforms into a figure into mid-air, or in mid-air, that's pretty sweet. And then ready for battle. Figure lands on its feet, ready for battle. Pretty sweet, okay. And then you can collect them all. So this one is, this is the one we have over here with Diamond Head, Forearms, and Wild Divine. And the other one we're gonna box after this has XL, XLR8, Heat Blast, and Cannonball. Pretty sweet, okay. Let's see happen, more happen. Let's start unboxing! Okay, buddy, here is our first Omni Launch Battle Figures pack, right? So, looks like here is the Omnitrix, right? This kind of just is like a piece of cardboard that comes out. Get rid of that. Oh, and then it uh, looks like these guys launch into, load into here to launch them. Pretty cool. Adjust this. Fit around your hand. I don't know if, hopefully this fits around mine. Let's see if this fits around mine. Oh, it just might. Oh, sweet. Okay, so, so it goes. Put that down like so. Oh, let me get in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, sweet. Oh, it does fit. Okay, cool. That's pretty awesome. Okay, this is the launch button. Okay, cool. So, this thing is pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty cool, man. All right. Now, the one thing I want to I want to point out when you're unboxing this bad boy, these things took forever. You could barely see them, but they're these really see-through rubber bands, right? And they're on each one of the guys, and they're a pain to take off. So. Just be careful when you, you know, when you're unboxing them. Okay, cool. So we have Diamond Head. Here he is. Right, he's a pretty cool figure. Oop. Okay, and it looks like I'll play with him in a second. He's pretty goofy. I know I have I have the bigger version of him that I need to unbox. Um, that I will get to you. So let's see if we can get this guy going. Well, here, I'll actually go through all of them first. Okay, so there's Diamond Head. Here is four arms. Right? Uh, looks like they formed a piece of cardboard that was on the Omnitrix. Right? Like the dial. Oh, there we go. I think that's how we do it. Pretty cool. Ah, ha, there you go. Figure that out in a second. And then we have the last but not least, Wild Vine. Pretty cool. Here. Also 
Oh, that's how you do it, okay. Aha! I got it. There you go. Okay. So it goes down there. Looks like that is supposed to go inside the Omnitrix. Right? Which we'll figure out in a second. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so there's all three of them. Comes with this instruction manual. Looks like a catalog too. Let's see if this is a Ben 10 Playmates line. And this looks like, oh, this is all the new, this is all the toy, the toy catalog. Okay, sweet. Let's see what they have going on here. So, let's see, they have the Omni Launch Battle Figures, right, which we're going to unbox today. Then there's also the basic Omni Tricks, right? Looks like it's got four alien phrases and sounds and effects. Cool. Transform in battle, become your favorite alien. You can become the Diamond Head or Heat Blast. Learn more about it at Cartoon Network or Ben10.com. Motion for alien sound effects. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a big, that's a really fancy Omnitrix. I remember that. It's got a hundred alien phrases and sound effects. Transform into one of ten aliens. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's, a, that's the deluxe Omnitrix. I'm sorry. Pretty sweet. And then ten inch giant figures. I've seen these guys before. I, haven't, I don't have any of the ten inch giant figures. I have the other guys. Right? So it looks like I got forearms. There's Diamond Head, Cannonball, Heat Blast. Pretty cool. So it's on the other side. Aha! Now! These are all the figures I have. I don't have... Now, I have in my collection, I have an unboxing map, but I have all of these guys. I have them all. I don't have these four. So, those guys I definitely need. But these, these look like they're brand new, if I'm not mistaken. Right? And I remember seeing these vehicles that just came out as well. I saw these at Target. I didn't pick them up, but I saw these. So these guys are out. And I've seen the, uh, the Rust Bucket Transforming playset. I know that's been out for a while. But wow, holy cow, look at the size of that thing. That's pretty sweet. Opens to over two feet tall. Holy Toledo. Okay. So if you guys see anything in here, right, that you want me to unbox, let me know. Oh, these are the power up figures. I've seen these guys before. We got Cannibal, Diamond Head Forearms, and Heat Blast. Cool. And then looks like these are the Alien Vigil Figures, Heat Blast, Rocket Flyer, Diamond Head Power Tank. That's pretty cool. Includes exclusive figure. Nice for each one. Sweet. Okay, cool. So if there's anything in here you want me to unbox, buddy, let me know in the comments below. And I will do my best to pick it up. Okay, cool. So, that's the catalog. Now, let's look into the instructions. And what's this thing? This is a... Open this up. Oh, it looks like... Oh, maybe it's some kind of... Uh, oh, maybe like, maybe need a... It's, like it's kind of like a dartboard, really. With all these different figures in it. All these different guys. Maybe you need to like, maybe you do this and you see where you guys are gonna land and get points. Ah, okay, so maybe it's like a like a game board, right? Okay, so let's see in the instructions. So here's the instructions. Okay, here we go, Ben 10, on the launch battle figures. All right, fasten straps to appropriate size to secure attach while preventing discomfort. I'm sorry, securely attach while preventing discomfort. Okay, cool, so I kinda did that. I could probably go one more actually. Let's see what I can do with this. One. Well, maybe not. I don't want to press my luck. Even because these weren't made for an older gentleman like myself. Made for more for you guys. Okay, cool. I'll do that. Okay, so we got that. And then getting alien battle figure ready for launch. Fold in both arms into chest and peg with peg inserted into hole. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to do... I want to do forearms first. I like him. He's kind of cool. Looks like you gotta. Oh, it looks like these pegs. One side is just like so. Yeah, there's one. Okay, cool. Fold head back and then fold support like on top of it. So you gotta fold the head back. Okay. Whoop! Hey, get in there, buddy. There's the leg. Heads in there, legs like that. I think you have to put these guys here. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go, okay. These guys. Like that. So. He really wants to stay, though. Okay, buddy. So, to fold this, to get this inside the Omnitrix, it's a little complicated, but just take some practice. So, don't get frustrated. Okay, so here's your figure. So, we're going to use forearms, right? So, what you want to do is, the first step is, you have, you have these two pieces right here. This is the first step. So this little piece 
can see it right here, this black peg, that goes inside this hole right here. You put that in first, and then you bring over the other, other side, and then it'll lock into place, or snap into place. See it? There you go, cool. Okay, now you flip it around, but the thing, the tricky thing is, is that you have to, you have to hold it with your finger once you have it in there. Okay, you have to hit, hold it with your, with your pointer finger, this finger. Okay, hold that, and then hold your thumb on the other side. Now, what you want to do is you want to bring the, char the character's head back, or the alien's head, which in this case is forearm. And you want to bring the support leg, which is this clear plastic piece, and you want this holds that into place. So you want to hold the two front pieces with your, with your pointer, and you want to hold the back with your thumb. So it should look like that. Okay, don't worry about these pieces. You don't have, I mean, you can if you want to, but you don't, you don't need to, don't even sweat it. Okay, now you can see these feet right here. Okay, these guys. Now, when you have the Omnitrix on, you want to make sure this is the launch button. It's the launch button you want to be facing towards your belly button, inside, right? Not, out, not outside here, otherwise it's going to launch at you. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, so these, these legs, these pure plastic legs, right? These, there's two holes inside here, one here and one here. And you just basically want to get those in and then glide them in, and then it should just snap into place like that. Okay, and then you know it's secure. You hear a click like you just did, and you can't get it off. Sometimes I, sometimes the head will get stuck, and you just take it off, redo it, and then try it again. It's, it can get a little frustrating, but it's okay. So then, now it's now we have four arms in here. Now we're going to launch them. So let's move these guys out of the way. Okay. Now it says in here for best results, uh, you want to have your arm flat. On, you want to have your arm lay flat on on a surface. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to angle. You got to angle the Omnitrix. So you get enough arc, okay, let me come on a little bit. You want to get enough arc so it lands, the, the alien will land on its feet, okay? So this is this is our scoreboard. So let's see what we can get. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. I've got my hand here. And we're gonna launch, see how we do with forearms. And press the button and bam. Oh, he didn't, oh, he fell down. He should land. Ideally, what you want him to do is you want him to land like this. I mean, he should have his back back towards you, right? So he should land like that. Okay. It's kind of cool. Or you know, sometimes he'll land on his back, whatever. But it's 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 really tricky to get him to land perfect. You gotta you gotta angle it. Once you have him in here, you gotta angle the Omnitrix to get the right angle, so he so the, so the alien lands perfect. But right, practice makes perfect, right? So let's try it one more time. So again, get this black kind of like peg inside the hole for, in forearms. Put the other piece over here, snaps into place, right? Hold it with your pointer finger, which is this finger, okay? Get the head, okay. move the head back, hold it in. Get the support leg, clear piece. So hold the head, whoop, hey, get back in there. Okay, there you're gonna hold it with your thumb. Okay, so you got your, your pointer finger and your thumb. Take these Lappy lappy legs, right? And you want to put them in the Omnitrix like that. And they'll go right in. And then it should lock in place. And then if this flips up, you just, it's easy, you just flip it back down, and there you go. Cool. Okay, now, again, then lay your arm on a flat surface, angle it, so you can get the right angle. And let's see if we can make, uh, let's see if we can make, I almost said if we can make the Omnitrix. Let's see if we can make forearms land on his feet. And bam. Oh no! Okay. Okay, but anyway, so there is forearms, right? He's, pretty, he's a pretty cool character. I like him, right? Okay. Pretty wild. Okay, so there's uh, there's forearms, and then we're gonna do diamond head next. So here's diamond head. Hands on here. And he's got clear plastic feet. He doesn't hit very itchy. Forearms has red feet. Diamond head has nothing. Why not? You think he would have green feet or something? Okay. Here's the back of them. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, and they're all the same. So if, once you get the hang of one, you can do the, you can do them all. So again, you can't really see because he's black, but there's that black peg, and he has a black hole right here. I'm gonna put that in there. Put the other hand, put the other side. Make sure you can snap it in. It'll snap in. Hold it with your pointer finger. Bring his head back. Bring the support leg up. Hold it, there's his legs. And you want the two pieces just kind of slide in. And you want the, the front side of the, the front side that forms the top of the Omnitrix facing outwards, right? 
and you want the inside of the alien facing you. Just snap it in place, boom, be secure, it's not going anywhere. And your arm flat, it's kind of hard to do this and get the right angle. Okay, let's see if we can do it. And press, then we're going to launch, and bam. Oh, we almost had it. Oh man, it almost got a thousand points too. Right, because you got the, the inner ring, the outer ring is 10 points, inner ring is 100 points, and the middle is a thousand points. I guess that's a really evil guy, huh? I have no idea who any of these guys are. So let me know, buddy. Okay. So there is Diamond Head. Okay, cool. And then let's do Wild Vine next. So here's Wild Vine. Sweet. Okay, so again, same concept. Here's that black peg. You're gonna get inside that hole right there. It snaps in. Other piece snaps in. There you go. I'm gonna hold it with your pointer finger. And you wanna bring down Wild Vine's head. And up this clear support piece with your thumb. Hold it in place. Shazam. Okay, bring the Omni Tricks over. Put those legs in there. And just kinda get in. And then move your thumb. Press down. You have a click. And then this piece is up. That's fine. Just snap it in. Cool. Lay your arm flat, angle a little bit so you can get the right angle. And go this way. And launch. Oh! Nope. Let me do it one more time. Let's see. Like that. And pretty soon you'll become a pro at it. It'll be really easy to, you'll be doing it super, super fast. This takes a lot of practice. Okay. And then, put a boom. And let's try this. Ready? Oh, it's tricky. Like I said, you gotta lay your arm flat, but it's just all—it's all about how you angle this, how you angle the Omnitrix. Okay, cool. So, buddy, there you have the Omni Launch Battle Figure set, right? With you have Wild Vine, you have four arms, and you have Diamond Head. Pretty cool. Okay, I would—I mean, overall, I think it's a pretty cool game. It definitely. You, know, you can definitely, I can see your buddies having a lot of fun with this. Okay, so let's do the next battle pack. Okay, buddy, for our next un unboxing, we have the Ben 10. We have the second Ben 10 Omni Launch Battle Figure set, right? And this one has XLR8, has Heat Blast, and it has Cannonball figures. Pretty cool. And it also comes with another uh, Omni Tricks, which is cool. So you can have like two of these guys. So if your buddy comes over and you have both sets, you know, you, you guys can just battle together. You don't have to share it, which is pretty sweet. Again, Launch from Omnitrix to Transform Figures. Okay, we're gonna go through this pretty quickly. Um, it's the same thing, right? This one just shows Heat Blast on the back versus Forearms on the other one, right? These are the two sets. We just did this set. We're doing this one now. And again, catch Ben 10 on Cartoon Network and unleash more alien superpowers at ben10.com. Cool. Cool. Okay, let's unbox them. Okay, buddy, here is the second battle, Omni Launch Battle figure pack, right, buddy? So we have XLR8, we have Heat Blast, and we have Cannibal, right? Figures. It comes with another Omni Tricks, right? So, same kind of thing, it's the exact same thing as this one, right? It has this cardboard kind of place or uh, illustration here to show you what it should, what the Omni Tricks should look like, top of the, or the face of the Omni Tricks should look like, right? So, I'm not gonna put this one back on. So what do you have it on? But again, same kind of thing. And then here are the three different figures, right? Here is XLR9, or eight, I'm sorry, XLR8. Okay, pretty cool. Cool. Here is Heat Blast. Heat. <laughs> cool. And then here is Cannonbolt. Little kind of claws, or not claws, but like little kind of hoofs, or whatever, for his feet. Kind of funny. Okay, cool. And again, uh, this is the catalog, which I'm not going to go through again. This is the same thing as we went through before. It shows that everything is currently available through Ben 10, right? And of the Ben 10 collection. And then again, this is the scoreboard, or the playing board, right? So you can, again, you could. Got a ring is 10 points. Of these guys, right? 100 points on the inside, and a thousand points 
from the very inner circle. Pretty cool. Very, very cool guys. For, or, like I, would, I would assume these are the evil guys. Okay. So again, uh, we don't need this. I mean, we don't need this, but this would, you know, I already have one on my hand. Again, we don't need the instructions. Instructions are the same thing, right? So let's let's see what we can do. Let's see. Let's transform these guys. Let's see if I can score any. So we'll move these guys over. We'll start with XLR8. Again, same kind of concept. You want that hook, or that peg inside this inside this open area right here, that hole. Pull in the other one. Snap in. Hold it with your your pointer finger. Right, like that. Pull this, pull this head back. Bring up the whoop. Clear support leg. Hold that with your thumb. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna put him in the Omnitrix. Put his legs in there. Lock him into place. Shush shing. Lay on a flat surface. And let's see if we can if we can score anything. Okay, angle it and oh no, nothing. Okay, we'll do it one more time. For XLR8, really fast. Like I said, after a while, you start getting. You guys could have speed races after a while. See what we can do with the fastest. And oh, nothing. Oh man, these I I did have one where it did work before, so it's not like these don't work. Okay, so that's XLR8. Let's do Heat Blast next. Okay, here's Heat Blast. Okay, so again, same kind of concept. Put that peg inside the hole. Hold your pink or hold your pointer finger. Bring his head in. Go, lock it like that. Feet in the Omnitrix, like so. Lock it in place. Bring this guy down, like that. And a flat surface. And let's see. Oh, woohoo! All right. So it looks like you got to do it more kind of, not so much angling, but more kind of like something almost a little bit, not completely straight up, 90 degrees, but a little bit. All right. Looks like we landed in the inner zones. So we got 100 points for Heat Blast. All right, Heat Blast. Good job, buddy. We'll put him over there. All right. Okay, cool. See, I told you they land. Set the practice. Okay, here's Cannonball. Got kind a of concept. Put him in there. Let's see. Hold that. Bring his head in. Okay, hold it like so. Get him inside there. Lock him in place. Cool. Lay. Oop. Put that down. Okay, land on a flat surface. And voila. Ah! Ha <laughs> Two in a row. All right. 100 points. Okay, so that's the key then. Okay, so you lay your hand down, and then you instead of doing this, you just kind of a little bit off, off angle, not straight, a little, not, not, not pointing straight up, just a little bit off, and then it'll land. Okay, sweet. So let's see if we can do XLR8 again. And then, this is pretty cool. I like this. Now that I know what the heck I'm doing, okay, lock them in place. So we can do your hands. Oh, we're right in his face. <laughs> okay. He landed on his face. Okay, let's get the other three guys and see if I can land these guys now. So this is forearms. Let me forearms pretty quickly. Let's see how we're doing on this. And then, let's see, and... Oh, look at that. Okay, we got 10 points for forearms. All right. We'll put him over there. Sweet. Okay, let's do wild vine. Got him like that. Boop. Put him in. Boop. Hey, get in there, buddy. Lock him in place. And... Oh, no good. Okay. He's over here. Okay, last one is Diamond Head. Okay, let's get Diamond Head in. Yep. Got him in there. Get his head. Support. Up, up, legs. Cool. Son. And we're going to get flat and voila. Oh! Nope. Wah, wah. Okay. Not bad. So we got, what, we got three out of, three out of six? I think, right? Maybe? Something like that. Anyway, there you go, buddy. There is the Ben 10 Omni Launch Battle Figure sets. Right of the two three packs, um, I would give them two thumbs up. I think these are pretty cool. I mean, once you figure out what you need to do with this, you can definitely have a lot of fun. And uh, it's all a matter of just like practicing with the angle. 
And I think, you know, if I had more time, I could definitely be bing, 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 boom, and get all these guys to stand up. But overall, I would definitely highly recommend it. I would definitely get these guys. I think they're pretty cool. It's a cool game to play with your buddy or your brother or your sister or even your mom and dad, your grandma and grandpa. You definitely see, and then you can do like a speed round, right? You can see who can go super fast, right? And time yourself. But overall, very, very cool. Okay, let's do name surprises. Woohoo! Okay, buddy, now it's name surprise time! Woohoo! Okay, let's see who's lucky names we're gonna say aloud today during name surprises, buddy. Hopefully yours. Okay, let's do this. Okay, first name surprise is Dominic. Hi, Dominic! Next name surprise is Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Next name surprise is Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Next name surprise is Hunter. Hi, Hunter. Next name surprise is Julian. Hi, Julian. Next name surprise is Maya. Hi, Maya. Next name surprise is Kylie. Hi, Kylie. Next name surprise is Levi. Hi, Levi. Next name surprise is Colton. Hi, Colton. And our last name surprise is Penelope. Hi, Penelope. So, name surprises today were Penelope, Colton, Levi, Kylie, Maya, Julian, Hunter, Samuel, Joshua, and Dominic. 